recently visited some of our favorite food booths and tried a bunch of new to us dishes at Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. In today's adventure, we're going to take you through the hits, the misses, and our best of the best list. For this year's visit, we had a few goals. First, we wanted to visit some of our favorites to see if they were still as good as we remembered. Next, we wanted to try some new dishes. And last, but certainly not least, we wanted to complete the Emile's Fromage Montage. We are doing our first few booths. Here is Flavors from the Fire. All right, so, so far I've had the, the taco. That was really good. I've taken a bite of the ingredients. So I, I've had the beef, the guacamole, sweet corn, and I believe it's some pickled onions. They were all good. There's uh, some sort of cream in it. Can't tell what it is, but it really has a good garlic flavor. The one thing was the tortilla. It wasn't as fresh as I thought it would be. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the taco as well. Seasonings, the flavors are really good. The avocado, everything in there is fresh, including, as Paul said, the corn. He's absolutely right. The meat probably could have cooked a little bit more so it's a little bit more tender, but otherwise that is a nice, solid choice. Other thing that I wanted to talk about, of course, are my favorites, the fries from the fry basket. It's the same assortment as last year. Sea salt one is really very good. It's a nice mild a sea salt and vinegar. You can't go wrong. The thing I would point out to you is with the barbecue, it is a little spicy. Not overwhelming, but do expect a kick with these. The only thing I would say is it looks like they were expecting this to be popular, so they had a bunch of them just sitting there. So these were not like hot out of the fryer but still you get the same good flavors. The only thing I could ask for is if they were hot. Okay, so as for the uh, fry basket, everything was really good. The sea salt with vinegar, good combination. If you like that flavor, barbecue, a lot of people love barbecue and this was not a disappointment. This was really good as well. And then the uh, sweet potato fries, surprisingly, I liked it. No one wanted to eat it um, anymore. I think I'm gonna keep nibbling on it the whole day or as I walk through Epcot because I think it's like a dessert fries. It's really sweet. Topping, maybe it's marshmallow, but it was really good as well. The more I dig into those, the more disappointed I am in the fact that they did not get handed to me nice and piping hot. They taste like cardboard now and you know there's nothing worse than cold fries, so I'm disappointed. I'm going to taste the crab cake. It's not bad. There's more crab than filling. That's always good. I don't know if it's going to be my best of list, but it's it's pretty good. All right, that was really good. Right away, I tasted the, the crab flavor, so there's plenty of it in there. And it's really tasty. I do taste a bit of a, a spice. I feel like there's an, uh, an Old Bay seasoning to it, and maybe that's what's making it spicy. But it's overall, it's really good. I'm going to try the garlic parmesan wings. This is pretty good. I like the sauce on here a lot. The wing is a little tough, but the sauce is good. I'm gonna keep digging into this. We also got the buffalo wings, and how are we feeling about the buffalo wings? Buffalo wings are really good. Um, it's not dripping in the sauce, but where there is sauce, you can taste it. Uh, it's, it's got that kick to it. Not overly spicy, but really good. And the little guy is eating the buffalo wings too, so the buffalo wings are a hit. The parmesan wings are really messy, but they're good. The sauce is very creamy. It tastes like it could be on top of a pasta. This is all. I'm glad. How, how was I skipping this booth all this time? This is excellent. The parmesan wings was a little bit sweet also. There was a touch of sweetness, so there's a sweet and savory in that parmesan wing. Okay, here we are with the buffalo wing. Let's give this a try. Your traditional buffalo wing. It's got that kick on the tongue. Pretty good. Ooh, wait, it's got a lot of kick. If you don't like spicy, maybe you don't want to do this one. On the other hand, the little guy is eating them like they have no spice. So the time has come. Before this melts anymore, I'm gonna go ahead Give the pickled milkshake a try. I'm a little nervous, y'all. Let's see. I keep hearing it's good. I don't know. Let's see. That's not bad, actually. It 
it's really not bad. It, it looks worse than it tastes, if that makes any sense. Actually, this is pretty good. I'm gonna let the rest of the table give it a try and we'll give you our collective feedback on the pickle milkshake. Little guy's already saying not him. That's not bad. We kind of talked about it earlier, and they did say that it wasn't so much pickle, but, but it was more of a kick. I like this. Doesn't taste that bad, actually. And here we have the chicken tiki marsala. It's our first time trying this. I'm really excited to try that. Well, let's try the chicken masala. A lot of flavors. Surprisingly, for Epcot, it's not salty. So I'm loving that. Uh, let's put some in the naan. Mm. The naan's a little um, flat. Seems more dense, should be more, a little more fluffier. Um, it's almost like a pita bread. Um, so that's not my favorite. There's the rest on the bottom, so that absorbs the flavors. Really good. So I just had a bite of the chicken. The chicken is tender. You get the curry flavors right away. I expected this to be spicy, but it's not. It's really, really good. And it's large enough to like be a meal, like a real appetizer size. This is good. I'm gonna try the rice next. Okay, so I'll tell you what is spicy. The rice is spicy. That's where all the spice is hidden. So you, of course, have to like spices to do this. The chicken wasn't too bad. Nice and tender, as I said. The tomatoes, there's not a lot of spice, hot spice in the chicken. You get the curry right away. It's the rice where you get the, the kick. My other half said it wasn't that great. Let's see. right that tastes store-bought and it doesn't taste fresh this is the crispy curry cheese with mango sauce mango and ketchup I believe so this is the first item on my cheese crawl and I've gotten already one stamp okay so now I'm going to give the curry cheese a try mm. it takes a minute but now I do taste the curry now with the mango sauce they go well together this is not my favorite. Not because of the flavors, but there's just so much cheese in here that it's not, it's thick and it's not creamy. So it, it checks the box for my cheese crawl, but not one of my favorite cheeses. So he liked the chicken and the chicken tiki masala. He said it is good, a little spicy. Okay, we have found yet another dish. If you watched our NCL cruise video series, you know that every meal was a chicken tender. We are finally broadening our horizons, everyone. Apologies in advance, I'm about to butcher this, but the schnickernudin, this is so good. There's little bits of ham in here, there's onion, noodles, the cheese. Mm. Really good. Yeah, this is really good. This is like macaron, macaroni cheese plus, plus, plus. Because it's got all the other stuff in there. It's really creamy. You taste the ham. It's rich. Um, this is really good. All right, here is Hawaii, the Kalua pork and the Alani sunrise, which is an adult beverage. This is usually one of my favorites. The Kalua pork slider from Hawaii. We're gonna see if this is as good as I remember it. This is delicious. The pork is tender. The pineapple has just a hint of sweetness. This is delicious. You can't go wrong with this. There's a little drizzle. It's a slight kick. Nothing too spicy. And then I'm gonna do the Alani Sunrise. This is a beverage at the Hawaii booth as well. There's pineapple juice in there. I think a little Bacardi, a little rum. This is really great. These two things together, you can't go wrong. The Hawaiian sliders was good again. Oh, definitely the pineapple. Refreshing. That's it, the right word. That's that. it. Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Canadian, Canadian cheddar with bacon soup. I'm going to try it now. Mm. 
good, cheesy, taste of bacon, really good. One complaint, and I haven't said it throughout this, this food and wine, is that it's salty. Obviously the cheese probably gives off that saltiness, but otherwise it's, it's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna give this a try. This is the Canadian cheddar bacon soup. Always one of my favorites. Yes, I know he said it's salty, but I think it's just the cheddar cheese. This is amazing. There's a slightest, slightest hit, hint of heat here, but this is delicious. This is also served in the restaurant Le Cellier here in the Canada Pavilion. You cannot go wrong with this. You like cheese, you're gonna love this soup. So this is the fourth item on my cheese So call. this is the famous Brazilian cheese bread. I've heard so much about this. I'm very excited to give this a try. Very nice. I like this better than the cheese bread that we had in India earlier today. This is good. This is very good. Mm. I don't know what to make of it. I like it. Very subtle in flavor. It's really good. Okay, so this is just um, fried cheese in a, in a light flaky dough. It's very light. So you can see what it looks like in there. The cheese is airy and fluffy. It's very spongy. This is really very good. Yeah. It's like a cheese biscuit in a way. This is good. Next up, we stop by the Spain booth to pick up the charcuterie in a cup. This would complete our Emile fromage montage. And we found this particular dish to be very tasty with the serrano ham, the chorizo, the olives, which by the way were pitted, and of course, the cheese. I just had the paella from Spain that had the shrimp and the chorizo in it. The chorizo is very spicy. When I went to the booth, I was just gonna get the charcuterie in a cup, but the smell of the garlic, I had to, I had to use paella. And I'm glad I did. The shrimp was delicious, and I thought the rice was great. It had a lot of wonderful flavors as well. So I would definitely do that one again. And I have to sit down and look at everything that I ate um, over the last two days that we tasted things at the festival and see if that one eats on to the best of the best list. That was really very good, and it's something that I would not normally have stopped to pick up had it not been for the charcuterie in a cup. Okay, this is the prize for finishing up the fromage montage, Emile's fromage montage. It is strawberry soft serve with a little cheesecake in there. So this is usually very, very good. I'm excited to give it a try and so proud for having finished up all of my cheese. I remember this being very good, so I'm excited. Strawberry soft serve. This is really good. That is strawberry soft serve. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. If you can do it, do the Emil Fromage Montage and get your completer prize. The soft, soft serve is really good and you get to take this cup home. This will join my other cup that I did two years ago. Cheers. So what were the hits, misses, and the best of the fest? We were most disappointed in the fry basket. It was a surprising miss from one of our favorite booths. This is a simple fix. The fries just need to be hot. We suggest that you skip this booth if the line is short and a bunch of fries are just sitting there prepped and waiting to be ordered. The most surprising hit of the festival the pickle milkshake. After hearing so much about this, we had to give it a try for ourselves, and we think that you should too. You might be pleasantly surprised. And now for the best of the fest. It was hard, but we managed to narrow down the list. In fifth place, we have Spain and the paella. This was not originally on our must try list, and now it has made it onto our must do list. In the number four spot is the Canadian bacon soup from Canada. If you love cheese, there is no way you can go wrong with the creamy goodness of this soup. Coming in at number three is the Schnickernudeln. This is another dish that consistently delivers from year to year. If you like mac and cheese, then you're gonna like this one. In the number two spot, you have the completer treat for completing the cheese crawl. 
This deconstructed cheesecake is delicious. The strawberry soft serve and the cheesecake are amazing. And no surprise, the best of the fest is Hawaii with its Kahlua pork slider and Alani sunrise. The Hawaii booth consistently delivers and this year is no different. Let us know in the comments below what was a hit, a miss, and the best of the fest for you. Stay tuned for our suggestions on enjoying the food and wine festival with kids. In the meantime, check out our Disney playlist. We hope that you enjoyed eating around the festival with us. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that you know when the next adventure begins. And no matter where your next adventures take you, we hope that you enjoy the journey. Bye now. Mm -hmm.